Hi everybody, this is Shirley from Shirley's Big Shop and today I'm coming to you um, with a problem that I seem to be having um, when it comes to people who want to return items. And um, I guess the first thing I really want to say is one of the main reasons that I started this business, aside from the fact that I lost my hair, uh, I had a very hard time trying to find a place to purchase a wig from that I was comfortable with, that I felt had great customer service, um, all those kind of reasons, probably the same reasons that you're purchasing your wig, hopefully for me. And I really want to provide that customer service. I want you to be happy with your purchase. I don't want you to have to return your item. I want you to get it right on the first time. But if you do have to return it, treat that wig with the respect it deserves. It's your crowning glory. That's your hair. I got another one today that I absolutely just have to share because I am so upset that someone would actually expect to get a refund, a store credit, whatever, would expect to get anything back after sending it looking like this. I knew we had a problem to begin with because I can feel how soft this is. So I know there's not going to be a box. The box that your wig comes in, a nice sturdy cardboard box, first of all. Barely taped together. So we opened it. And this is what we get. Look at the squashed, the lovely squashed, squished, smashed box. What else would you expect if you didn't put it in something that's got some substance to it? So then we open it up. Okay, this is bad enough. Almost forgivable. Closed. I had hope for a minute. And then you open it up and you get this. You get a wig thrown in. Scrunched squashed, smashed. All the packing is laying here. The netting. I mean, who thought they got their wig and it looked like this when they got it? I mean, if I open a wig that I bought for somebody and it looked like this, I'd throw it right back in the box, take a, take a video of it, send the video along and say, what are you trying to sell me? I can't believe that people actually do this. So I am begging you ladies, treat your wigs with some respect. This wig is now ruined. It's, it's an absolute waste of everyone's money. There's nothing that I can do with it. Normally we would clean it up. We would make it perfect. If you, when you return a wig, we'd be able to resell it. First of all, if you, if you send it back the way you're supposed to send it, and if you read the rules, it says, needs to be indistinguishable from the way you received it. That means when you send it back to me because it didn't work for you, I should be able to sell that wig at a lower cost because it's already used once, but at least sell it to someone who's going to enjoy that wig, who it's going to work for, who it's going to look good on, who it's going to make happy. You send it back to me looking like this in a box smashed and squashed and destroyed. And what do you think I can do with it? So you've not only disrespected me, as far as I'm concerned, and the business that I'm trying to run and the service I'm trying to provide, but you've disrespected yourself and every other woman out there who can't afford, not everybody can afford to spend this kind of money on a wig. We would have been able to donate this to someone and you destroyed that. So I am begging you ladies, please, when you need to return a wig, take the time. When you open it, if you, if you think you're going to forget what it looked like, take some pictures of the box that you got when you got your wig. See where the packing belongs. There's a reason things are put where they are. We pack these things so that they hold their shape so that this lace doesn't get bent and squashed and torn. There's a reason for all of that. So please, from the bottom of my heart, from Shirley at Shirley's Wig Shop, treat your wigs, whether you're keeping them or returning them, 
with the respect that they deserve. And remember, there are people out there that would love to have this wig and can't afford it. And I would love to be able to help those people too. So on that note, thank you for listening. And please, please take it to heart. Thanks, ladies.